think it's important to have like queer spaces because well there's no space for us anywhere else like we can't exist in the world so we'll just make our own space you know so it's very important because otherwise where would we go <laughs> My name's Billy, I'm 17, my pronouns are they, them. Yeah, like when I was younger, it was always a bit like, like gender didn't really play like a huge role for me. I was just Billy, you know? And then um, as you grow up and like go through puberty and things like that, you just feel a bit different from everyone else. And you're like, well, yeah, sure, puberty's awkward, but like, this isn't quite right. In January or February of this year, I came out as non-binary to my parents, which was terrifying. <laughs> I decided I would try to explain gender in a PowerPoint slideshow, which is kind of impossible, but you know, I did my best <laughs> and um, had my friend over in the other room just in case like something went wrong because like, you know, like, they love you no matter what, but it, there's always that fear that, like, something could go wrong. Yeah, Billy was very withdrawn before she came out as... before what they came out as non-binary. Um, yeah, look, I was extremely concerned. She was um, very withdrawn, spent a lot of time in her bedroom. Her diet changed drastically. When Billy came out as non-binary, all I thought was, is that all? Like, why couldn't you tell us earlier? And thank God that's all it is. While Billy's giving us a PowerPoint presentation of describing who they are now, I also felt like, well, you know, do you really need to explain? Don't you know that we know who you are and that's all that matters? So, yeah, there's, there's sadness and relief so many emotions happening at the same time. And the other thing that Billy expressed was that um, that she was worried that we might um, reject them. And that was really painful, really painful. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, um, you know, like I felt like, um, you know, I, I, I said to Billy, you know, don't you know we love you? Don't you know? Like, it was just, yeah, that was the hardest bit. I mean, after I came out, I've just been, like, so much happier and just better at, in everything. And, like, I've got, like, I've got friends now and I can, like, talk about them and I'm not, like, scared or hiding anymore, which is really good. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy with who I am, which is a um, long time coming. It's a gradual getting to know each other again, I guess, on, on this new um, new uh, place where, where Billy's at, and, you know, and, and it's awesome because I feel as though I'm getting my child back again because, you know, Billy was so full of life and so hilarious and so funny and I felt like I'd been missing that for the last six years. The queer formal is basically a formal dance or a prom for LGBT plus individuals who might not have had the chance to go to their school's formal or prom for whatever reason, whether it be discrimination or fear or just not having the chance to go. I'm going to the formal with my girlfriend and I'm very excited. <laughs> I guess it's like a rite of passage, like, you know, everybody like goes to the formal and like this something they look back on. So it's um, just like really amazing that like I'll be able to go to a formal and like I'll be able to remember it and know that I did it. <laughs> Gonna wear my rainbow boots. I'm getting my hair dyed rainbow tomorrow by this guy called Mikey from the Little Rebel Barbershop and he is very kindly um, offered to do it for free so I decided to thank him, I'm going to make some vegan cookies for him, or I'm going to try, because I'm not vegan myself. I made cookies! Oh my god, <laughs> thank you! <laughs> and they're vegan, hey? Yes, yeah, so I made, the, made sure I was all vegan. Thank so. you, that's so sweet! <laughs>
well. Billy is going to the minus 18 ball tomorrow night. I wanted to express in rainbow. <laughs> I love supporting and making the world a more colorful place in any way that I can. I think I found out about minus 18 on Facebook, just trying to find a group or a community, I guess, to like connect with people. I just found out when the next event was and I remember sitting on the train, just going, just go back home, go back home. But um, I think once I got off the train, I knew like, I have to go in. Like, even if I don't say anything, I need to go in and say anything. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was an, one of the best decisions I've ever made because some of the people invited me to like hang out with them in the city afterward, which was just, Amazing, because they didn't even know me, and now they're some of my best friends, which is amazing. <laughs> I avoided my formal completely. I didn't think anybody would want to go with me. I didn't want to ask or feel rejected by anybody. Yeah, I never experienced my prom. I used to get called girl boy, I used to get called shim, I used to get called everything. Um, and I think once I started owning myself, and just accepting who I was and saying, yeah, I am, I'm gay, I'm, that's it, cool. And then they had nothing to fire at me because it wasn't upsetting me anymore. I remember sitting outside gay bars when I was 15, wishing I was old enough to be in there because it just sounded like so much fun and an accepting place. And I think no matter what you do in life, everybody's always going to have an opinion anyway, so you can't shape shift yourself to suit anybody else's needs because at the end of the day you have to be happy and that's all that matters so yeah if you want to be rainbow down the street and for the rest of your life you do it don't let like one shady comment knock you down people ask me did you lose the bet and i said i'm always winning the bet I showed everybody at work today your um, hair and they loved it. Yeah, I made a corsage for Lynn out of fake plastic flowers and I guess ribbon, I don't know what it is, but yeah, I think it turned out pretty well considering. <laughs> it's it awesome. It's yeah. the most amazing thing. <laughs> it's really good. You happy? Yep. You excited? Yeah. Yes, cool. very excited. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's a bit like unbelievable like I can't really it doesn't almost it feels like it's not happening but it, at the same time it's like oh my god it's happening <laughs> yeah I'm really excited to like ha hang out with friends and just be happy at the formal and like to do, do like a normal thing that everybody does I guess but yeah it should be amazing <laughs> Hey, how are you? <laughs> I made you a corsage. Oh my god. Out of fake flowers, but it's still oh god, a corsage. It's so <laughs> it probably needs it probably needs trimming, but, but you know, it's nice. It's <laughs> <laughs>